So, like, I really like him, but do you think I should go for him, though? I don't know. He says he doesn't like girls like me. Well, he didn't say it to me directly, but he said it to me indirectly. So I thought that maybe he didn't. I don't know. I'm just tired of trying to read men's minds. Just full out say if you like me or not. Don't give me flowers or flirt with me and tease me and, you know, kiss my cheek, rub my hair. Just tell me if you like me or not or just tell me that you just, you know, you want to fuck. Huh? I shouldn't say those words. Why not? I'm an adult too. Stop laughing at me. Hmm. You're so mean. Because I'm honestly telling you my feelings about this whole situation and you're laughing. Because I said fuck. What's so funny about saying fuck? You're worse than my brother. Yeah. I just got back from Colorado. Yeah. Though, I guess I should ask you a question. Are you going to tell him you like him now? Um, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You liked him, and you still do. I mean, for years you would... Yeah, you do. Don't think I don't notice you drawing your little circles in your notebooks during class. Yeah, in high school you did it all the time. And even now, you still do it. You think I don't see your Spotify account? I mean, we use the same Spotify. You think I don't notice those initials? <laughs> no need to be embarrassed, but you really should tell him. Hmm? Well, I mean, sure. Um, you've changed significantly since high school. You're a trans man now, so there may be some difficulties, but, I mean, shoot your shot. I mean, if he says no, then no. <sighs> You're such a scaredy cat. Just say, hey, you know, I liked you for the longest time. Do you like me? It's not that hard. Well, don't be mad at me when we finally see him and Sylvia sinks her claws in him before you do. Uh, yeah. We all know Sylvia's had the biggest thing for my older brother. Just like you do. But you know what? You have a chance because you can come over my house. Sylvia, that fucking bitch, cannot. Stop laughing! Just because I say fucking bitch is not funny. I am so impure that dust bunnies become my friends in just 2.5 seconds of... I'm not helping my argument, am I? <sighs> You're so rude. Well, I imagine that, um... That you don't want me to tell you that, you know, that you're not who you used to be back then. I'll leave that to you to tell my brother. I know it's going to be hard to tell him, but <laughs> he'll start using your dead name and I don't want him to. I mean, he may not recognize you. But maybe he will. I don't know, but 
I don't want him to ask for you and say your dead name. I know how much it makes you upset about that. Though I know you're understanding. He hasn't seen you in how long? Seven years? No, wait, no. Five years. Yeah, five. Because five years ago, that's when he went to Colorado. Yeah. Well, after the divorce with my parents, they decided to keep which child they favored, and, well, my mom favored my brother over me, and, well, I mean, I have a good dad. He's really good, but he's a little dysfunctional sometimes, but, yeah. Knock, knock. He's here. What are you doing? Why are you hiding? Don't tell me you're gonna hide under the bed. Are you kidding me? Can I come in? Um, uh, hold on, I'm changing. Oh, okay. Just let me know when. Will you just stop it? You left your shoes at the front door. He's bound to realize there's someone here. And that's the one thing about my older brother. He's very observant. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, uh, I'm on the phone. Hold on, I'm almost done. Are you serious? You're gonna hide under my bed? <sighs> well, hopefully the Pokemon monsters and whatever is down there doesn't eat you up. <clears throat> uh, come in. Hey. Hi. Hmm. What? Whose jacket does that belong to? Uh, oh, uh, it's mine. It's a lot bigger than you are. Oh, well, y you know, um, uh, well, I got it from this guy. Guy? Um, yeah. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Um, how do you know? When you're really nervous and you're lying, you look away, <laughs> you start stuttering, and... I'm pretty sure you don't smell like... <laughs> blueberries. Oh, um, <clears throat> well, there is a guy that gave it to me when we... When you what? Um, uh, when we hung out. No. Finish your sentence. When you what? Um, nothing. <clears throat> um, so how are you? Is there someone in here? What? Uh, no, of course not. There is someone in here. Hey, where the hell are you? What are you doing? I'm looking for the bozo in your room. That's what I'm doing. No, there's no one here. Stop lying to me. Really? I just come back and you're gonna lie to me about this? Um, well, um... Where is he? Um, well, if I tell you... No, there's no if you tell me you won't know. What would Dad think if someone was here when he wasn't around? You know, I know you've had it hard, but I didn't think you were this kind of person. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You know what that means. I didn't think you were some kind of chick going out hoeing around. Hoeing around? Huh, coming from the king of the hoes? You know, that wasn't really an insult, the way you tried to phrase it. You know what I mean. You can't be telling me to do that when you did the same thing that you were here and you are probably doing it in Colorado. That's besides the point. No, it's not. It's called a double standard. Fine. You're right. I did. But I don't want you to do what I did. And I got burned for it. What are you saying? Where the hell is he? You don't need to know. Just leave. No. I'm not. You're going to tell me where that bozo is. And 
you're going to hear something from me. No, he's not. So there is someone here. Huh? Who the hell are you? I don't know what kind of intentions you have this evening, but I need you to get the fuck out of here. Don't talk to him like that. You don't even know him. I don't need to know him. A man is going to hide under your bed so he can do what he wants with you? You don't know anything. Oh, I know a lot. Especially doing stupid shit like this. You think I haven't done this before? I think you need to leave. He's not leaving. Dad already knows- He does, huh? Yeah, he does. Sure. Right. I'm gonna call him. Go ahead. You'll look stupid. Huh. Hey, Dad. Did you know that there was some dude here? Know him? How? What the hell is going on here? Sorry. Okay. See you later. Bye. No man said that I know you. How? You what? Why are you fucking stuttering? Answer the damn question. Dad knows he's here. Dad trusts him. Well, I don't. I... You understand, huh? Huh. You understand that this looks really sketchy right now. Hmm? My younger sister is in a room with some dude hiding under her bed. And you think I ain't gonna think nothing? I know how guys think, okay? And the last thing you're gonna do is take advantage of my younger sister. He's not taking advantage- Shut up! If you have any good bone in your body, I suggest you leave. What? No, come back! Caitlin, you and I need to talk. No, we don't. In fact, I think you need to go back to Colorado and go back where you came from. You should have just full out told him. If you just tell him, then it won't be as bad. My brother is an asshole, yes, but I'm sure he wouldn't be judgmental. He's a very open-minded person. You're right, that was very open-minded of him, but he never got mad at me when I told him I liked girls. What do you mean that's different? <sighs> Let's not get into whose struggle is worse than the other, okay? But, I'm sorry about everything. Are you sure you don't want to stay and explain? You really should tell him. <sighs> well, he 
he's running away, I see. Well, will I see you tomorrow? Well, obviously not at my house. I'll just go to yours. Yeah, I'm going to teach my brother a lesson for being a total dick. Mm. How dare you come in and try and tell me how to live my life. And even if I was hoeing around, it's none of his fucking business. Stop laughing at me. It's not funny. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, are you okay, though? I know this is the first time you met him in five years, so... I mean... <laughs> Does this mean your crush for him has diminished? It hasn't? Why? I mean, it would for me. Well, yeah, sure, he was defending you, but... <sighs> Don't say that. Yeah, that. Don't say that I should appreciate having someone look out for me and want to know how I am and you don't have anyone who cares. I get it, but sometimes it just feels like I'm being, like, I'm being smothered. Like, in a prison. Where I can't just go and do what I want. Ugh, don't talk like my dad. God. Ew, don't talk about responsibilities and adulting. Listen, I'm 21, okay? I want to enjoy my life being 21. I don't want to think about adulting. <sighs> Do you really have to go? Fuck my brother. Ew, don't say you wish you could. Gross. I mean, if you guys were kissed like a kiss, maybe that'd be cute, but ew. Gross. Yuck. So when are you going to tell him? There's no such thing as when the time is right. You either do it, or you don't. Like I said, he's a dick, but he's pretty open-minded. Like I said, I told him I like girls, and he was okay with that. Well, I mean, he was in Colorado for five years, so we never know. Maybe he experimented. <sighs> My brother looks like the... I mean... I mean, you're right. He doesn't look like the type where he would experiment, but... He's not, you know, narrow-minded. Like, he's not closed-minded where he's not open to things. But then again, maybe for him, maybe, I don't know. Okay, well, text me when you get home. Be safe. Love you. Mm. Bye. And be sure to tell my brother that you like him, but to be honest, I think you deserve better than my brother. Yeah. Well, talk to you later. Bye.